to Mama Angel's Kitchen. I've got a fun little recipe for us tonight. I'm gonna to be making jerk chicken bites. <laughs> little bite-sized jerk chicken. And I think this is just gonna be absolutely amazing, amazing. So let's go over the ingredients. Not many at all. This is Mama Angel's um, jerk seasoning blend. You can use any dried jerk seasoning blend you, you, that is your favorite or that you find in the stores. You just want a nice dried jerk season blend, okay? Then I've got one um, chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast, and two boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And I have just kind of cubed them up until... Let's see, this is one of the thighs. Cubed up in little pieces like that, where it's not exactly a cube, but you know what I mean. Um, and then the breast is a little bit more cube, except for that little tail hanging off of it. <laughs> but there it is right there. Nice little bite-sized pieces, okay? And I've got them laid out here on uh, a plate. And what I'm gonna do, guys, and then um, we got one egg, that I'm probably only going to use about a half of this egg for this amount. We don't want it really eggy, but I do want that, that consistency of the egg in there. And then some soy sauce. That's our ingredients tonight, guys. That is it. All right, let's go ahead and get this jerk season open. All right, hope you guys have had an amazing day. It is Thursday evening. All right, and I am going to season liberally, okay? And go ahead and get these mixed up. All right, without throwing chicken all over my counter. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, this smells so good so good message me if you would like to know what my jerk season blend is and i will happily share it with you but you certainly don't have to have my blend okay whatever your favorite jerk season blend is that's what you use oh boy and i tell you i use this let's see my daughter's birthday was sunday and I did some jerk chicken wings. And I'm just doing, this is probably a teaspoon of soy sauce. That's it. Okay. I did some jerk chicken wings. Uh, just as an appetizer. It wasn't even the main dish. When I say they were fantastic, my goodness, I'm not kidding you. And I just thought, wouldn't these be good on... Just little bites, you know? Um, like I said, don't skip on the, on the seasoning. Do not skimp on the seasoning. If it don't change colors, it ain't well seasoned. If it ain't hitting your nose, it ain't well seasoned. Okay, take a gander of that. You see that seasoning on there? Okay, I'm not holding back off of the seasoning. I'm tempted to go in with a little bit more. I think I will. You know, and I had probably a half a cup of seasoning in there. Okay. All right, guys. That's it. I'm going to go in now with this egg. And like I said, I just want half of this egg. Pardon me there. I'm just tossing that shell. Go ahead and beat this up. And I don't want it real eggy, so I really am just going to use half of this egg, okay? But if you have more, then of course you use more. Use a whole egg 
but the egg is just going to kind of give it a, I don't know, it's it's not even a crispy texture because I'm not going to flour these. Um, if you flour it, it does aid to the crispiness, but it just kind of gives it a, I don't know, I can't really explain it. It's a beautiful coating. Um, try it, try it. You know, try it with and then try it without and you'll see what I'm talking about. I can't really explain exactly what I'm talking about. You just have to kind of experience it. It gives it, it does kind of aid to a nice um, crispiness. I can say, I will say crispiness without the flour. Okay. I do this a lot with shrimp as well. Okay. All right, guys, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and let this sit aside. Ideally, you want to do this three hours minimum up to overnight. Okay, but I don't have overnight tonight because I'm going to cook these babies for my dinner tonight. So I'm going to let these sit probably only about 20 minutes. If I can wait, I'll do 30 minutes. Um, All right, guys, let's go ahead and fry us up some jerk chicken bites. I've got just enough um vegetable oil to cover the bottom of this pan and it is smoking hot you see the smoke coming out it is smoking hot all right so let's go ahead and get some a nice handful of chicken in here and i want to get it all spread out in a nice even layer i want everybody all on top of each other that should be enough to do it Get it all spread out. This is a nice big skillet. You hear me? I think we're going to be okay. We are going to be okay. But you don't want them on top of each other. You do want them spread out so they can get nice and crispy. You know, you want a nice char on each individual piece. And these won't take long. I mean, you know, a minute per side. Okay? Yep, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and fill in some of these bare spots that I can get a little bit more in. But that's it. We're going to do a couple of, couple of, uh, couple of batches and get these rascals. Oh, they smell so good, y'all. They smell so good. My goodness. All right, let's let this go for a little bit, and we're going to flip them over. And I'm going to get me a clean plate to transfer the done ones into, and just keep it going. All right, let's get some of them a flip and see what we got there. Oh, right there, baby. Right there. That's what we're looking for. That's it. Oh, yes, indeed. They're beautiful, y'all. They are beautiful. All right. Keep flipping these babies over. All right, guys, this is our second batch. They are just beautiful. I mean, it cooks quick, so quick, because they're so small. And they're chicken breasts, you know, and thigh. But, you know, boneless skillets, they just don't take that long. But my goodness, look at this. <laughs> my word, isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. It's hot, too. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. All right, y'all, there they are right there. I'm not sure which thumbnail I'm gonna show you because I made some rice and broccoli. I'm gonna make myself a little bowl and that's what we're gonna do our taste test on. So I'm not sure which thumbnail I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna do a thumbnail of the bowl also. All right, but we'll be back with the taste test. Guys, here it is. Here it is right here and it's beautiful. I'm loving the bowl. I am loving the bowl. Come on, get your close up on this. You see the rice there? And yeah, it's not yellow rice, but it is cooked in a, a, a uh, <laughs> chicken broth. That's a homemade chicken broth that I made. That is, it's more like a, uh, it is definitely, well anyway, there's that chicken. There's that chicken. And I made some broccoli. Go alongside, there's that broccoli. Guys, isn't that gorgeous? My goodness, look at that. 
Look at that. But, um, more like a stock I was going to say on that chicken broth. I just love making my own homemade chicken broth and you know sometimes it comes out so nice and you got the the uh, gelatinous in there because you know use the bones and anyway tonight is about the <laughs> it is about these jerk chicken bites guys oh my word let's get in here and try one of these Let's get in here and try one of these. Let me see. I got to get a close-up here. I'm stuck in the chair. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. I knew that was going to be a hit, y'all. I knew that was going to be a hit. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, let me tell you. Mmm. What is good? If you like jerk chicken and you prefer the breast or the boneless, skinless thighs because you're just not into bones, there it is right there. There it is. Mama Angel just brought it to you. She brought it to you guys, okay? Oh my goodness, let's do this one more time. Come on. There's a nice big bite. Some of them are bigger than others. I didn't mean for them to be. This is a special one. This one here has gristle in it. And that's why it's this big, okay? I'm gonna leave that for Mama Angel. But come on, here you go. Come on, get another bite of that one. Oh my goodness. You know what? Here, come on. Get a little bit of rice and a little bit of that chicken. You can't go wrong with that. There's your perfect bite right there. Perfect bite. And then we're going to follow it up with a bite of that broccoli. You better know we are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Try this one. Try this one <laughs> guys if you like this one come on give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed come on in now come, i'm not quitting come on in join the party if you're new to my channel welcome and thank you so much for subscribing to mama angel's kitchen i promise you i'm gonna keep on coming guys i love you stay prayed up and i'm gonna see you real soon in my next video Good night.